In this video, we're going to be going over a plugin called Sneak. So as always, you can find all of the commands that I'll run in this video, as well as the configuration for the plugin over on my blog. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, you can also find the NeoVim config that I'm working on over on my GitHub, which I'll also leave a link in the description for. I'd appreciate it if you gave it like a star or forked it or something. All of that helps. So let's get started. So you can use your favorite plugin manager to install Sneak. Um, this is the Vimplug syntax, but you can use any plugin manager you want. Uh, creating a config file, I typically create config files and then just source them in init.vim. So I'll just create in plug config here, uh, something called sneak.vim or whatever plugin.vim, right? And then I just source it in init.vim. It just helps me keep the, you know, all of the plugin config configuration separate. And you can see how I do that if you go check out uh, the uh, config over on my GitHub. So Sneak. So Sneak is a motion plugin for Vim that remaps S and capital S, right? So what did they used to do and why is it not such a big deal that we're remapping them? So what they used to do, and I'll activate this for you guys really fast. So what they used to do was you would type C, well, you would type S, right? But we'll do CL and it gets rid of the character under the cursor and puts you in insert mode. So there you go. Um, so we can still do that. We're not losing much. And then capital S would just do this. We'll type CC and it'll jump us back to the front there in insert mode and delete everything on the line. So, all right. So that's what we used to be able to do, but I think we're gaining a lot more with remapping S to sneak. So let's type S. I like, so for instance, what it does is it's a, it's a vertical motion, right? So, so you could jump down to plug, right? Like if you wanted to get to PL here, you could do that with searching for it. And if we searched for it, it would give us an ugly highlight and it would essentially pollute our search history as well. And we don't really want to do all that just for jumping around. We don't want to have that in our search history. So what we can do is we can just press S, P, L, and we're there. So that's a pretty easy instance of jumping to something. You can see down here, I have this little magnifying glass. I put that in there with a, uh, a sneak prompt, you can change the sneak prompt to whatever you want. Um, yeah, so the next thing we'll do is try to do something a little bit more difficult. So we'll try to jump to this CO because there's a bunch of COs all over the place. So type CO after S, right? So what did I do there? I did, probably didn't show up on the screen perfectly. So we'll do um, C S C O. And what it did was it jumped me to the first instance of CO. So say I didn't want to jump here, I could just stay here and then already start doing other commands like D, W and get rid of the word. Or, and I'll press U to undo that. And then, or I could press C, W and change the word. And it'll just put me in insert mode right away, right? So that's not stuff that Sneak's doing, but it's just, you know, fast ways to edit text, right? So the next thing we'll do is we'll actually try to get to that other CO. So CO automatically jumped us here, so we could do something, but let's, you know, let's not, let's get over here. So we'll just press semicolon, because that's what's there. So now we press semicolon and we're there. So we can do DW, or we could do CW, or we can do anything we want, right? So let's jump back up here, type S again. And here's the next thing I wanted to go into actually, was this here. So, you know, excuse this terrible spelling here, but what it does is, it's like a smart next. So S is next. So what you can do is you can press S and then we'll do C O. And then we'll just, before we do anything else, we'll just press S, 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 S. And it'll just keep jumping us to all the next instances of C O. So let's get back to the top. So that's pretty cool. And it does that if we haven't moved. So if I do, um, S C O and then I move around a little bit and try and press S again, it'll open up a new search. So as long as you haven't moved, then that'll work for you. All right. Now we've been basically just searching downwards. Um, we can also search upwards. So let's do, um, capital S and capital S will start taking us upwards. So we'll look for C O or let's look for F I. So we'll try to get to this file right here. So F I, so let's do F I. And the one, the highlight for that, it already jumped us to this one. So we already could like stay there and do whatever we want, but we could just press F right now and go to this one. And there we are. So the same thing will work. So if we come down here and we do again, uh, capital S and then F I, and then we could just start pressing S S S until we get there. So that's another way to get there. If you kind of wanted to, you know, um, increment through all of the ones that all of the places that you could be. 
uh, all of the places that had FI essentially. All right, so yeah, I went over changing the prompt. Another thing that it does, and I probably won't go over too much of this in the video, but in the same way that we are getting these vertical motions, um, Sneak also provides an interface to do kind of horizontal motions. Um, I don't know, I don't find them actually too useful, so I don't really plan on going them over, over them in this video. I think Quickscope is a better uh, plugin for something like that, and I'll just briefly kind of show you what I mean by that. So like, if you didn't know, F kind of takes you to places like in uh, horizontal fashion here. So if I wanted to jump to, you know, C here, what I would do is just press C, but that would leave me at the first C. So what I would do is press semicolon, and then that would get me to the next C. Now I'll be going over quick scope in the next uh, video, but that's why I wouldn't necessarily worry too much about mapping these other keys. If you want to do it that way, you can. These are the commands. Um, essentially, S will be S and then two characters, just like we saw throughout this video. Capital S will be capital S and two characters. Uh, if you do want to remap F and T, you have those options as well. I'll leave a link to the sneak uh, repo in my blog and probably in the description as well. So I recommend you uh, check that out and uh, give them a star. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.